Love you. Bye bye. Let me know if you need anything while I'm out. Bye bye. Welcome back everybody. Sorry about the little chaotic beginning, but I got up really early. I got up at like 6 a.m. this morning to edit my video and then I talked to my dad and then I was planning on opening the video before I went on my little date with Betsy, but then I just had to go out the door. But as you saw, we got breakfast, we got coffee, we went to the farmer's market, and yeah, I just had a fun little girly day. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm 23 years old and I live in Okinawa with my husband and my two cats and we live here because he's in the military and I do like to record a lot of different things. I like to record military life, traveling, just things that we're doing day to day. But today is going to be another like PCS theme video because this week we're actually packing out and it's going to be a little bit chaotic. Just like the military works, there's like three different pack out dates. There's different types of packing out and then we're going to be in a hotel by the end of the week. So I'm just going to record the whole week and like little bit, bits and pieces here so you can kind of see like what that vibe is but today we are definitely gonna have like a busier day trying to like organize our stuff Tomorrow is our first pack out day and the way that the military works is they'll do two different shipments. The first shipment is unaccompanied goods where they basically will ship out the things that are a priority to you like your computers, our Nespresso, like things like that, whatever you need in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I think two days later or three days later, we're having our actual pack out where they pack out all of our stuff. So today we're kind of dividing the things that we want to pack out for the unaccompanied goods and then separating everything else and then we can kind of narrow down the things that we need to sell and whatnot so right now Aiden and I are kind of going through everything and I'm also just going to be staying on my phone a lot trying to check if people have bought anything I'm praying they do but if not I mean worse comes to worse we'll just like donate stuff but yeah so it's going to be a fun vlog very eventful and I will keep you updated as best as I possibly can this is the kind of stuff we're dealing with like going through our coats, going through our closets, dealing with the cats. That's a whole other thing, but I'll tell you guys about that later. <laughs> We're gonna start by taking everything down on our shelves and all of our decorations and putting it into boxes and then we're just gonna chip away at each thing at a time. So we'll start with that and then go from there. So cue the montage. says because Aiden has been trying to get through all his flour and he's really into sourdough so he made sourdough pizzas that we actually ate on Friday night but we still have two doughs left over and prepared so we're gonna use that we also made homemade marinara sauce and then we still have some toppings left over so we're gonna have a fun little pizza night
This is gonna be my last Nespresso coffee for a long time. Last night we were up pretty late, like organizing stuff and I still have stuff to organize before they come at eight and it's 7.30 right now. Oh my God, it's 7.30 right now. Holy, I don't have time to do this, but anyways, long story short, they're packing our Nespresso today. So enjoying this and I need to get to work before they get here. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray. Sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows to capture in. We've been spending the morning getting all of our stuff separated. And I don't know why I thought this was gonna be so much easier. In my head, I was like, I need my Nespresso and my computer and like, I'm good. But from my understanding, this package will be arriving a similar time to when we arrive in Washington or like a little bit after. So like anything to cook, anything to use for dishes, all that type of stuff we need to have figured out now. And like, I guess we could live off of like paper plates and takeout, but you know, we want to be able to like get there, settle in, cook and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you everything we have separated at the moment. Boo, I don't think they'll take the Nespresso pods. So I'm just going to leave these here. We might have to buy more. Okay, so this is all of the kitchen stuff that we're taking. And I just grabbed some like essential stuff for cooking, like two cutting boards, bowl, pots, all of our new stainless steel stuff. Not all of our containers, but quite a few just because, yeah, we're just not like huge takeout people. I know we're going to be cooking right away, so I just want to make sure we have stuff ready. Oh, I don't even think I showed you. If you saw our last video, I think I said, or no, two videos ago, that we were looking for silverware that's made in Japan, and we did find some. It's in here, but we're just going to pack it all out, and then the silverware that we had before, we're just going to use until they like pack us out, pack us out, and then um, probably donate it after, because it's perfectly fine. We just got new ones. We're only going to just bring four glasses two mugs and then i just grabbed four plates like four of each dish and then if there's uh room i want to take this just because i think this will be good because it'll be colder in washington to make like pot meals and stuff so can i grab this fruit bowl and then some pot holders so that's oh and then also over here aiden has our pet fountain um drying because we're going to express strip that and then aiden also clean the nespresso so that's going to be all ready to be picked up we're only going to bring the little uh tv that we literally never use but it'll be perfect for moving so we're going to bring that and then aiden has all of our computer stuff situated over here then we have just this basket of clothes of things to ship. It's kind of hard to tell like what we should take. So I did my best to try to figure that out. But Aiden has his basket of clothes. I have my basket of clothes. We have some towels we're going to take. Some blankets. We have our computer monitors. I obviously have my priority straight. <laughs> I'm bringing a couple of cookbooks. I'm going to have Express ship them. But the last time we went to the mall, another thing that we ended up getting to bring back that I didn't show in the other video because we went one more time after is we got some Japanese cookbooks. This one is like all bentos. It's in Japanese, but I figure I'll just translate it. And I'm really excited. I want to make Aiden like little bentos for lunch and stuff. Um, and then I'm taking some of our like really good, just busy people recipe books. Like this is a a one pot recipe, which is why I want to bring the Dutch oven and then a sheet pan recipe. And then this is just another like essential Japanese cookbook I figure would be good to have on hand. That is that. And I think that's everything we're going to take. But this is the thing with the military. They were like, we'll be there between eight and three o'clock. So pretty much we're just kind of like waiting until they get here. And then I think they said that we get 600 pounds. So hopefully all of this fits. But if not, we might have to like regroup. But there's no way this is all 600 pounds, right? Could be. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That was that. They literally came in, came out. I didn't record much because I don't want to be like creeping on them when they're doing their job. But yeah, our house. I'm not gonna lie, that was a struggle for me. 
they were kind of just like throwing things around at one point and I was like, ooh, I really, really don't know how I feel about this. But they put my dishes in a fragile box. It says fragile, so everything should be fine. But those mugs, I was literally like, I just can't even look because if they break our mugs, I would be so sad. Pepper. I guess we'll just have to see. But that was that. <laughs> I think. You can come out now. Just like now. You a snack? <laughs> come here. We're gonna go run some errands and I'll update you on everything we've done in the house. We pack out on Friday, so we're trying to get as much done today as we possibly can. I am struggling a little bit because this is not easy, but we're powering through. Right? Right. <laughs> sound like a zombie because I am I <laughs> it's my first day without my Nespresso and it's really it's really hitting me to my soul if you have an espresso you know it's like you literally just have espresso on tap so it's like you wake up and you have a coffee and we have a maca pot but I don't have any beans for it so I'm just sitting here like Ugh. so yeah I am also hungry but I wanted to update really quick we're getting a bit of a late start because Aiden was up late because he had to do this presentation for this job interview that he's doing and I went, up, went to bed at like a reasonable time so I've just been kind of like hanging out waiting but we do have a busy day ahead well the next few days I guess this I need to stop saying that because this whole week is going to be busy but so our they're not doing the next pickup until Thursday but that's an appliance pickup and the way that that works is all the even though we live off base all of the appliances that we have are from on base and they lent it to us so they're going to be picking up these appliances first but we have to clean everything ourselves and they have to be in like a certain standard of shape which means we need to get to doing that so that's going to be like our big project for the day but that also makes things a little bit complicated because if we don't have appliances we can't cook or do anything so I think we're gonna head over to the store. Well, I think first we're gonna get coffee and food because we just don't have any food in the house and, or coffee, which is tragic. And then go to the grocery store, get some foods like sandwich stuff, so just like easy stuff, um, and then go from there. But this is really just a process. I feel like we're just kind of winging it, um, but we just have to stay on top of what we're doing every day and then go from there, but yeah. So whenever Aiden gets out of the shower, we'll get some coffee and some food and then go from there. <laughs> I'm not 
even gonna lie through this whole process i keep getting overwhelmed because i feel like there are quite a few different things to do and the way my brain is is like i start on one thing and then i start thinking about the next thing and then i'm like oh i want to do that and i'm just like uh katie focus so i finally just made a list of everything we need to do like cleaning agents room the guest room i need to get all the organizers from the house and start cleaning those so that they can pack them out because pretty much our goal is to literally like just have all of our stuff ready they walk in they take it out bada bing bada boom done like we just want to keep it really simple for them so yeah i need to like go through all that stuff and then i don't know if we might start the appliance clean out today i don't know that might be a job for tomorrow we'll just have to see where we're at and a little bit and then also we have to start packing our suitcases because i need to figure out what i need to take and what i'm willing to let be packed up for the next couple months because i have no idea how long it's going to take for us to get our stuff i'm hoping because we're in seattle it's like sooner than usual but we'll just have to see so now we have some direction and I think what I'm gonna do now is start going through all the cabinets and taking the organi organizers out because we also need to just like go through food and see like what we need to throw away or give away or whatever. Also, I keep getting distracted because I'm like communicating with people who are picking things up. Like I have a girl coming soon to try on some clothes and I have like two people picking up some books I'm selling. It's just like really hard right now because I'm, I feel like I'm always on my phone. If you've sold stuff on Facebook, you know the struggle. It's like, I'm so over it. I'm like just ready to donate everything because yeah it's annoying but anyways let's get back into it the gym we got a coffee um yeah had a nice little outing but i've just been cleaning the house and as i said yesterday i think we have to clean all of our appliances but the problem is is i feel like i can't do the appliances until i clean everything else out i don't know why but that just like makes sense to me so i'm having to go through all of our food which we've used up most of but like my sugar containers like flour that kind of stuff i have a lot of stuff like that that i've been dreading throwing away because i hate being wasteful but it's just like i can't give people just like used open sugar and stuff like that you know what i mean i just don't feel like that's sanitary i am thinking i'm gonna start emptying all these things and cleaning them i did actually a little update all of the containers that had food and stuff in here other than the canned stuff i'm gonna deal with that later i got all of those cleaned out in our fridge too a lot of the stuff was like organized in containers and i have that all situated 
in here so that they can pack them out these types of things like pumpkin seeds stuff like that they are really old like they've been in here for a long time so i just don't see the point in like giving them to someone else because i just don't even know like if they're even good or whatever so it pains me to throw everything away but like i don't know what else to do so i'm thinking i'm going to just start dumping all this stuff and then cleaning the containers out and then we will start cleaning the appliances but yeah we're pretty much to the point now like we're done cooking like we're gonna have to get dinner out tonight because once the appliances are clean i am not messing with it so yeah all right let's clean these out dropped his car off to get fixed at Thomas garage if you've never heard of them highly recommend they're like a off base garage near our house and they do things pretty affordably and very efficiently compared to on base which I wish I knew about them sooner so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go get some dinner and then we're gonna go get some cat food and yeah that's gonna be our night but I'm probably not gonna talk much for the rest of the day because I'm tired wanted to update really quick on what's happening so last night after we went to dinner we did a lot more cleaning in the house to prepare for this morning for the appliance pickup they are basically like we will be there between 7 30 a.m and 12 30 p.m so somewhere between there they're supposed to come and pick up our appliances but we got everything cleaned out and we got our fridge stuff narrowed down enough that we can put it in a cooler and hopefully everything will stay good but then after that, someone is actually going to see our car today. Aiden's Gino, not my Mazda. We're still working on selling that, but we might have a potential buyer for that as well. So yes, we have a busy morning ahead, but while we are kind of what, just like waiting for the appliances, I'm kind of just killing time. I figure tomorrow they're packing us out, so I might as well just start packing my suitcase, which is really sad. And I'm really like, I don't want to do it because it kind of freaks the cats out when I bring the suitcases out, but like we have to do it. So I'm just starting on separating all my stuff. If we fly AMC or if we fly commercial, either way, we're only gonna be able to take two bags. So my smaller bag, I'm gonna pack all my Okinawa stuff for the next few days. And then my bigger bag, I'm gonna pack all my Washington clothes and then go from there. So I've just been like separating everything and I'm gonna continue to be doing that this morning. So let's get packing. Trees are green. Oh. 
The ocean is gray, sky is a white Come away. Is that where do you think we're going? My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right. Must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. appliances holy cow fridge is gone <laughs> oven's gone whoa wowza that is a mess we are now heading out to meet someone to buy Aiden's cars and everyone cross your fingers that we sell this car because we are really getting down to the last few days and I have had barely any traction on my car but everyone likes Aiden's car so at least if we can sell this car and then go from there I will feel much better <laughs> I'm discombobulated we literally just sold the Gino and then this other guy who wanted the Gino well the Gino was sold so I was like hey we have this other car it's like really great really reliable whatever and he was like yeah yeah I'll see it he just took a test drive and he's like I'll take it and he's letting us keep it till Thursday. So this is great, this is great. But now we're starving. And we literally, as you saw, we don't have a fridge or anything, so we need to go find some food and we can't even like buy, like, cause I was like, oh, we could like buy sandwich stuff, but we don't even have a fridge to keep it in. So I think we're gonna find food. I can't believe we just sold both the cars in an afternoon. Yeah. That's so crazy. Back to That was a you want a big one or a small one? Mm, probably a bigger one. Compartments? Just the Yakiniku. Just has the Yakiniku girl. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, that's way smaller than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Spending that big money on that one later. <laughs> Seven thirty. Packers about to come in. I don't know how anybody vlogs when they're moving because this has been so stressful. I almost had a panic attack this morning because we saw them pull up thirty minutes ago and we were like, "Oh my god, we're not ready." But we're like, "We're okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. Everything on this counter, we're taking. Everything on this counter, we're leaving. Lots of trash to deal with." Lots of lots of trash. We live off base, so you can't just like throw anything away if you didn't know. Like they're very strict about recycling here, which is great, but also very inconvenient when you just want to like throw stuff away. But yeah. I feel really bad. We put our cats in the kennel. It's okay, honey. It's okay. We had to put them in here because we don't know what else to do. Well, we don't like because usually if people come in the house, they'll run it under the couch, but we can't have that right now. So all of our stuff that we're taking, we put over here. And then, um, yeah, everything else is free range for the movers. This has been very stressful. I don't know how much I'm going to actually record because I'm just trying to make sure like the things that we need to stay stay and get separated and we need to be like involved like separating everything but I'll try to get a couple clips okay
are currently packing up, but we need coffee. So this is probably gonna be my last walk to Family Mart ever, unless we go later. <sighs> really sad, but I feel like this is for the best anyways, because I kind of just feel like I'm in the way there. But we have to pay attention at the same time because there's like things that we need them to not pack and things we need them to pack. So we kind of have to be there, but Aiden's watching now and I'm just gonna go get a coffee. took what four hours yep. and yeah much quicker than most people I can't imagine doing this with kids because even with cats that was like so stressful I didn't get that many clips but it's, it's probably for the best Pepper had a moment Matilda's been hiding but yeah I literally have zero brain cells left because I'm so tired I don't even think I mentioned it but we went to bed last night like midnight and then we woke up like five o'clock like really early so we are tired and very hungry. All we've had is that coffee today. So I think we're gonna go treat ourselves to some good old chain sushi. And then we have to run some errands after that. But yeah, this is real. <laughs> and it echoes. dropped off our Wi-Fi router at the BX. We checked into our TLF, so we're about to go in. The cats are still at home and we still have a lot of stuff left at the house that we have to deal with, but we're gonna get checked in, see the situation, figure out if like we can even buy groceries and stuff, because I don't know, it could just be like a microwave or something. So this is just a mystery to us all. So we're gonna go in and see what the situation is. If you've ever been in a military dorm room, this is what it's giving. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a room that someone's already staying in so back to the check-in lobby <laughs> so we got a new building it looks much more like the one we had previously and yeah i guess we have to do all this stuff to get our cats figured out and there's like a lot of rules for when you have a pet staying in the house so should be interesting does that mean we're gonna have to kennel them when we leave the house yeah. They're not gonna like that. No. <laughs> Can you imagine? Is there anyone in there? <laughs> this is the room. We have a little chair, a little couch, a kennel for our dogs, <laughs> our cats. Little nice doggies. little, nice little table. This is great. We have a stove. We have a microwave, we have a fridge. Yeah, we have a nice room. They painted the walls, that's kind of fancy. Dresser for all of our things. 
bathroom. Yeah, it's pretty spacious, honestly. Much more than I was expecting, but I think it's gonna be really hard getting the cats under control. So we're just gonna have to see how that goes, and we still have to go get them. But no, this doesn't look bad at all. I am very relieved we're staying here and not the other one. Pepper's well, actually, gonna be all up on that. At least they can get up in here and just look out. We're just gonna have to put the curtains back, I think. Whenever, like during the daytime. Good thing we left, got their blanket. They're gonna need something to need. <laughs> I took pictures of everything. Okay, we came back to the house. <laughs> Matilda's alive. Pepper's alive. And I feel like I didn't do a good job of explaining everything earlier because I was quite literally disassociating the whole time. Okay, here's the deal. So basically they told us we have to be back by five. But we, before we do that, we need to get the cats situated. But we have to bring them their immunization paperwork and then we also have to bring our orders in and then we need to get them all settled but we still have all of this to deal with still all of this is stuff that we thought we could pack so fyi you can't take any liquids even if it's from the u.s unless i think it's sealed yes. and not opened so they didn't let us take any of this and this is all the alcohol that we're not taking and then this is all just cooking products that i might give to people i don't know if that's like weird to give like used cooking products to people but they're there so that's what we have to deal with but we're probably going to deal with this tomorrow because we have the keys to the house until monday so we have a couple days to like get everything situated and we also hired cleaners to clean the house so yeah but for now we're just gonna work on getting our well we gotta get the trash out because it's trash day and then we need to get the cat situated Alrighty, this is the situation we're working with hi not happy campers unfortunately this is the trash situation we never do this but we're moving so Doing? Where are we? Uh, it's too small to go under, and she's hiding. I don't think I've said this already, but they've never slept anywhere except our house, so like this is a pretty big deal. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. I think they will be much more comfortable in here than they would be in their kennels or at Caring Kennels. So they would have been there for ten. 10 days yeah i don't even think i mentioned that but there was a scenario where we thought we were gonna have to board the cats at carrying kennels for 10 days and i was like absolutely not like i will pay for my own hotel before i put them in a kennel for 10 days like absolutely not so this has actually worked out really well i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i've been vlogging for like a week straight and i think i just need like a break to kind of chill and relax tonight and maybe i'll continue it tomorrow but i hope you're enjoying coming along with us on this pcs journey with two cats going from okinawa to seattle it's definitely very eventful very new and it's a lot but it's okay so i hope that this helps and Stay tuned for the rest of this little PCS series. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.